Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some verbal cues that you can use for youth hitters or players who are just starting out. So the key here, keep it simple. Don't use a lot of words, don't use hard words. Explain it to where a five-year-old could understand how to swing a bat. And that's actually how I'm gonna explain it on this video today and I'm gonna keep it very short. So there's four parts in the swing. You've got the load. After the load, you're going to contact. After contact is extension. After extension is follow through. So let's talk about the load. It's kind of like our wind up. What we wanna do on our load, two things happen. One, our hands go back and we step and take and get our foot down. So that's two. Think like I'm ripping your insides apart. Your hands are going back and your front foot's going forward. So they're separating from each other. You want to feel super strong to where if I were to come push you in this load, you're not moving. So to me, that means you're very strong. Your weight, a majority of your weight's on your back leg, so like 70%, and then you've got about 30% on your front leg. We don't want to be over. We don't want to be too far back. Again, if I come push you, you shouldn't move. After our load, once our heel is down, the next body part that should go, our hips start to turn, and then my hands follow a split second later, and it's hands, 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 barrel. So this is me at contact when I actually have the ball hit my bat. My hands are a tiny bit higher than my barrel. I don't want my barrel higher than my hands because I'm gonna be hitting straight down on the ball, and I wanna hit line drives. So my hands are a little bit higher than my barrel. I've got some bend in my elbows. My weight is behind my front hip. I always say, you wanna keep your chest behind your belly button at contact. So if my chest is behind my belly button at contact, I'm hitting line drives. If my chest is a little bit over my belly button, I'm, again, I'm gonna be losing power and hitting straight down on that ball. So hands higher than barrel, chest behind belly button, I'm behind my front hip. My power, my power comes from my bottom half, specifically my hips, and I need to make sure I'm firing my hips. So in order to do that, as I'm going to contact, my back toes are gonna to be to the pitcher. If you're the type of hitter that swings and you're all upper body and your toes are facing the dugout, to me that means you didn't use your hips and you've lost your power. So you wanna make sure at contact, your back toes are to that pitcher. After contact, you are gonna make sure your hands stay all the way, the barrel's going all the way back to the pitcher. So you've got a tunnel from home to pitcher and you wanna keep your barrel through that tunnel as long as you can. So after contact, is extension all the way through. Now, the biggest thing when you're hitting is your head. And this is probably the most common thing that I see with hitters, regardless of age, but especially with younger girls, is our head. It's moving too much. I joke around with my girls. You don't want to be a bobblehead when you're swinging. You want to keep your head very still. So think like as you're hitting, I'm holding your head as tight as I can, and it's going to stay very still from load, contact, extension. Think like you got an egg on your head. If you swing and the egg's flying out of here, that means your head's moving too much. So after extension, your eyes are through or down that barrel, your weight's behind that front side still. After you get to extension, you're just gonna swing all the way through. We wanna make sure after extension, we're not coming straight to our shoulder or we're not stopping. We wanna come all the way through in order to get maximum power. So again, one more time, you've got load, hands back, foot down, going to contact, Hips, hands, 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 barrel. I'm behind my front side. After contact, extension. My head never moved. My barrel's right back to the pitcher. Back toes are to the pitcher. And I'm swinging all the way through. And this is what it looked like full speed. So if you're working with some young girls or girls who are just starting out, a good drill that you can do is tell them to get in their load. So you make sure that their hands are back, their heel is down. Once they're comfortable there, you'll tell them to swing. And then after they swing, they'll stick that finish. Load, swing.